what's going on guys today we're going to have a very different and interesting conversation that i feel should be talked about and should be discovered in this space the process of setting yourself up to become good happy and successful and one of the things i consistently see with this um, thought process is that there are a lot of people who want to be happy there's a lot of people who want to be successful there's a lot of people who want to do these things but when they look for the information and they look for the ability when they look for the helpful items it gets to be daunting to find reliable conscious available device for these people to win in life it becomes difficult and the internet is full of information the internet is full of people um, many people who are in the thought process and there's all of these ideals and concepts that could influence people to be happy but may not be the exact thing that they need to be happy so one of the things that i've learned is everyone has things that they enjoy and they like whatever this person is you know it might be a kid they may enjoy video games it may be a girl she may enjoy doing her hair a certain way and Everyone has this. It just is a matter of degree. I would assume, I would, would think that everyone has this. And if you go ahead and you open up yourself to the things that make you happy and you lean into those things, personally, I think this is the thing that will make you happy this is the thing that will make you successful. This is the thing that would have tremendous bearing on your future happiness and success. Because here's the thing, I've been doing YouTube 14 years. I like YouTube. YouTube, I cannot, you know, YouTube has its moments and its issues and stuff, but I look at the results of what has happened with YouTube and I've just got to come away and it's like, I'm happy with it. I really like it. And one of the things that, well, I've been able to do it for 14 going on 15 years is because I like it. And that's a big, big part of being successful and that's a big part of being happy. Now, there can be a phase where you're a person who doesn't have any hobbies, doesn't have anything that they like. And you have to force yourself into a lane. And honestly, I cannot talk about that because I have not had to force myself into a lane. I haven't had to force myself. But if you're one of those people who doesn't have hobbies or perspectives or stuff like this, you may literally have to force yourself into a lane you may have to force yourself to do certain things. And to you, I would say good luck and I wish the best for you. But for the average person, I would say lean into the things that you like. I got a story to tell you. Uh, one of my biggest passions in life was writing. And before that, I used to be an artist. I used to draw, paint. I had tons and tons of art. And one of the things that I noticed is I could literally just come up with concepts and ideals and stuff, just, just like that, just like that. Cause I really enjoyed it. I was really deep into it and I thoroughly enjoyed the craft. I thoroughly enjoyed doing the things that I needed to do to build up this new methodology. And it has stuck with me until now. It's still in me and it's still a way for me to produce something, to put something out, create a product, create a service 
and be happy from creating this because one of the things is and this is something I feel I, I found another failed Airbnb <laughs> another one right and there are so many people who are listening because there is like one two three four five probably 12 to 15 content creators who are selling Airbnb training because it's hot and Every day when I go to Zillow, I found what I call the failed Airbnb. No, it's a failed Airbnb. This is a nicely furnished, fully tricked out house that they put on the long-term real market because the Airbnb money is not coming in. And because they have put extra care and attention to it and it's fully furnished, they want to rent this house at an above average rent for the neighborhood. And from what I'm seeing, it's just not working out because what they're having to do is lower these rents to the average rent rate to get this house rented, right? And I consistently see this, that these people who you know get into what I call a template business. This is your Toro, this is your Airbnb, this is your Amazon FBA, and they get in these businesses because they're looking for a way to make money, they're looking for a way to increase their disposable income, and they don't really care how they do it. And that not caring is, I feel, the issue in the whole process. As long as I make money, I don't care how I make money. And in the beginning, that may be cool, but when you start dealing with the ramifications, when you start dealing with the issues, when you start dealing with all this other stuff, this whole I don't care thing, it kind of goes out the window, right? pretty much goes out the window because you start to care because now there are pivotal issues that are happening with these template businesses that you just strictly don't like, don't want to deal with. And now you have created a business in the terms of Airbnb, whether you're doing Airbnb arbitrage where you go out and rent someone's property and put it on Airbnb, or you're actually buying a house it's really, really expensive for you to be participating in a business that you do not love. You don't even like it. It's just like, get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. And there is no, because here's the thing. Airbnb is not a real estate business. Airbnb is a hospitality business. You have to get like, last time you went to a hotel, and you left the room torn up, you left the tiles on the floor, and you just left. A lot of Airbnbs, they have a cleanup fee and they have all this other stuff. So one of the things that you have to do, one of the things is that you have to pay attention to is creating a better, unique experience if you're gonna get in these template businesses because that's what's gonna make them special. And if you really don't care, you really don't like these businesses, you really, or just kind of doing it to be doing it to make some money I think it's gonna really fall on you on a hard hard way so what I want you to do is watch this video a few times I want you to subscribe to the channel I want you to hit the bell notification and we're going to get into some more interesting talks and conversations now it's almost May and in May I have a lot of new training that's coming and part of getting in this new training is you must go ahead and enroll in the money course. And the money course the link is in the first description. And if I don't forget, because sometimes I do forget, it'll be in the first comment. And you can just go ahead, attach that link, and go ahead and start making moves to prepare yourself for the next level of education, for the next level of content that is coming. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the bell notifications thing. Do all that other stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.